talk about it, man. Whatever happened to the war on terror? I don't know. Sitting back thinking about, man, life and how everything just transpired and, you know, regular stuff. Y'all know what all happened on the 11th day of September in 2001. We know who was blamed for it. We know what demographic was blamed for this. And we went out and, you know, we got at Saddam. We thought it was Ben, you know. And it was certain groups that their name popped up when we was talking about this stuff that happened to the Twin Towers. You know, we had, um, what's the word, insurgents. We was looking for WMD, Weapons of Mass Destruction. There was the Al-Qaeda. They changed their name to the Taliban. Then they became ISIS. It was like, yo, who we fighting with? I don't know who we was fighting with. I know during those times that I say I became an American around that time. I mean, I've been American since I was born, but black people became Americans then. You know, we all had to stick together and fight somebody. You know, somebody. We had to fight somebody. And I say I became an American because when I used to travel, whether it was the airport or the bus station, white people or white men that I never spoke to or never thought they would speak to me, they look at me and we'll see, you know, a certain demographic. And we start looking at each other like, yo, we go down, I got your back, you got mine, I got yours. Let's stick together, brother. That's what they, that's what they say to me. I'm looking like, wow. So we got a common enemy now. You, 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 I'm brother. We all Americans, brother. It was like, man, y'all. And the crazy part about it, nine times out of ten, it has nothing to do with the demographic they're talking about. Just because their skin tone or their skin color looked a certain way. Some of them were Indian. Some of them was Pakistani. Some of them was Cambodian. They, man, they dark too. But you know what I mean, man. It's just every turkey turkey people people from turkish or turkish people people from turkey everybody not the same as the people they blame for these heinous acts and that's why i said i became an american that day but it you know it always didn't sit with me right because as time went on we never found the weapons of mass destruction and when did it end like when do we when do we defeat al-qaeda when did we defeat Taliban? And when did we defeat ISIS? Who was the final boss? <clears throat> That's crazy to me. We had all these people, sleeper cells. We that They had us scared for a long time about these certain groups. And they was calling it the war on terror. And how we, we were scared that they was going to come back, do something, do something else, do something else. And we looked at these certain demographic of people. We looked at them like, man, are you the enemy? And... As time went on, we never defeated these groups that I know of. Because like I said, I never heard of the final boss. Like, what, did, did they stop? Did they give up? I always thought about this, man. This something just, just never didn't sit right with me. Um, I ain't like it, man. I don't like it. When did we end? When, when did it end? I don't think it ended. I think they just moved on to something different. Another scare tactic to scare us. We had what the opioid, opioids. You know, we got the war on drugs. They started that all up again. That was scary for some people. I'm just saying they just they just moved their their narrative to something else. All the um, black and white tension that happened, the pandemic happened. It's like they just moved on to something else. That's what I'm saying. Like we got to get out of that. We got to look and listen longer as people. So they, before they won't turn us against each other. You know what I mean? Am, am I am I speaking out the term right now by saying stuff like this? That I don't understand this? Or did I feel a certain way that they keep moving the goalposts and just changing it to something else? Because I just want to know. I'm not looking for the Taliban, the Al-Qaeda, ISIS, or nothing like that. But did we win? Did we win? I know they sent all the troops and sent them back, sent them back. They've been over there for a million years. Now they're coming home. They've been home. Whatever. Did we win that? The war on drugs and opioids, did we win that? The pandemic battle and all the sickness that everybody had since 2020, 
are we done with that? They keep moving the goalposts and changing stuff, man. Not too long ago, probably a month ago, Chinese balloons, spy balloons all in the sky, getting shot down everywhere for a whole week. 15, 16 balloons they've been found and knocked down. What happened to that? We ain't spoke about that no more after it went down. It's over with. I ain't heard nothing else from it. Mm-hmm. Now what we talking about? Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj doing TikToks together. I, I think that's the new thing happening right now to everybody. I ain't gonna look on Twitter, man. Y'all know what I mean, though. Keep your eyes open, man. Because I don't know what's going on. I just be, you know, you, you hear stuff, then you don't hear it no more. And I just always want to know what happened to the war on terror. This is the Twilight Zone, man. This is stuff I think about when I'm sitting around partaking in the medicinal. I'll let you boy.